I'm so happy to see you. I am. Listen, so happy to see you. And happy that you are back again at the house. I know. I love, I love it. You are amazing. Congratulations. You just celebrated with your 21st wedding anniversary. Uh, it's coming up. It's coming it's up. It's coming up, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yes, that is up. amazing. The 19th. Yeah, thank and, you. And you took a trip last year. We did. What did you go we went to Dubai? You went to Dubai? Yeah, we went to Dubai for our 20 year. Yeah, we celebrated there. That was like something he really wanted to do. I wanted to go to Africa, but I said, all right, we can go to Dubai. Ah. But, it was fun. <laughs> but it was it was a good time. Is it true that your mom knew you two were gonna get married? She did. She did in high school, because you know, me and Chance dated in, in eighth grade. I love this. But my sister, who's older than me, six years, she <laughs> How yeah. old were you guys here? Uh, we were 19. Aww. Yep, 19. And so, but when we were in eighth grade, my sister was like, oh, you about to go to high school, girl. You don't want no boyfriend. So I broke up with him. Mm. And I was like, oh, my sister said it's a bunch of boys over there in high school, so we should break up. You know, I got to see my options, you know. Yes. And so, you had to figure it out. Yeah, okay. and so he hated me. He was so mad at me and would not speak to me for years. And so 10th grade, we were at a basketball game. Me and my mama was sitting in the bleachers and he was like hugged up on the corner with his like girlfriend at the time. Mm. And I kind of just rolled my eyes like, you know. Whatever. And, exactly. <laughs> and my mama was like, I don't know why you're doing that. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. I said, well, what? She said, he's gonna have a baby with that girl, but that's your husband. I was like, well, you don't know me, honey, cause I ain't gonna be marrying no men with children. Mm. Okay, that's what you supposed to think at 15. Okay? Yes. Sure enough. We graduated. On our graduation day, my mom was like, go get Chance and bring him over here. I want a picture of both of y'all in y'all's cap and gown. I'm going to use this at y'all's wedding. I said, Mama, will you please stop She saying said that? She said that. Uh -huh. I was like, that's so weird. Why would you say that? <laughs> well, she said it because she knew what she was talking about. And it happened. <laughs> it happened, and she used that picture at our wedding. Ain't that something y'all? Mama, yeah. no, I'm yeah. trying to tell yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And I'm sorry for your loss, because you're my best, right? Yes, yes. But you, and, and I know, because, like, they never leave you. Oh, they never leave. It's always some type of sign that's there. Yes. That She's they... here right now. Her favorite color was purple, right? So every time I see purple, I think of her, too. You think of her? Yeah, absolutely. Do you have other things that make you feel like she's oh, there. Oh, absolutely. So before my mama passed away, we had a conversation about death because I was like, we knew she was going to die. She had uh, ALS. Mm -hmm. And so I said, Mama, you know, what am I going to do when you're gone? Her, look at her. Oh, Beautiful. Uh, you know, you're my best friend. You know, and so she told me, she said, you know, when Granny died, which was her mother, she said, uh, I was having a, the worst day at work one day. Mm -hmm. And she said, I went to sit at my desk and on the corner of my desk was a nickel. And she said, for whatever reason, I was so drawn to this nickel. And I start feeling like the presence of my mama. And she said, and after that, anytime I was having a good day or a bad day or whatever, I would find nickels. And I said, so you think Granny leaving you nickels? And she said, I think so. I said, well, girl, if that's the case, what will you leave me when you're gone so I know you're around? And she said, I'll double it and I'll leave you dimes. And we just kind of laughed about it, oh, right? Uh -huh. Maybe like six or eight months later, she passed away. And nobody was at our house here in, in L.A. because we were in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And so we had to uh, be there for a couple weeks after the funeral and everything. So the first night we came back home, when we went to get in the bed, when we pulled the covers back, I had dimes in my bed. And I was like, my husband was like, why you got dimes in the bed? I said, I ain't got dimes in the bed. I don't know why the dimes is there. And then it hit me. And Where's I remember that conversation. I was like, ain't no way in the world. I was like, well, maybe I had dropped my bag before I left and some dimes fell out. I was trying to make it make, make sense. It, make it make sense. And then I told my husband about the conversation I had with my mom and he was like, oh wait, don't tell me no more. I don't want to hear that. Right? He got scared. Right. Right. And so then the next morning I was in the kitchen cooking and he was going to take a shower and he started screaming from the bathroom. Screaming. Uh-huh. And so <laughs> I went in there and he just, he couldn't even talk. He was just pointing at the shower and the shower was full of dimes. And it's been that way for over 16 years. I find dimes all the time when I'm thinking about her, when I'm not. When mm, that just, gave me chills. Yeah, it's, it's just Jeez. a sign. Very it's, much yeah. still with yeah. you. Very I, much so. Oh my God, that's so, so beautiful. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And then we got a good old mutual friend. I call him Pastor Luke. Oh. And he done been here on the show. I and now he's a part of your show. I love this coming Yeah. Y'all better Look, know Pastor yes, Luke right he's so here. so adorable. Honey. That is my friend. That baby be preaching. You hear me? He be preaching. <laughs> now, did he preach about your popcorn? Listen. Did you see that video? Listen, I got the clip. Oh my God. How cute is this? No, he, I had him on tap time. Look at him. He is adorable. He is adorable. He's been here before, as the old folk used to say. Oh, you know, yeah. he has definitely yeah. Been, yeah, here before. been here before. Yeah, that baby been here before. Because he be preaching down. We yeah. got a clip of him. Y'all need to get your spirit right. Go ahead, roll past the loop for him. <laughs> hey, sis. Ooh, this is bossy, bossy, Miss Tap. Oh, my gosh. 
How do you make this? It's so good. Hold this. Take my time for this popcorn. Take my time for this popcorn. <laughs> he about to preach a sermon about the popcorn. Oh, Come on. He's adorable. I love this, he, I love that baby is something special. That is for he's anointed, is oh, what we yes. call it. That's Absolutely. what he is. Absolutely. Congratulations on your new book. I did a new thing. I love that title. Can you tell us about it? So I did a new thing. I started doing this challenge for myself back in like 2014, where every day for 30 days I would just try to do one new thing and just see how it made me feel, okay. right? Because, you know, sometimes it could be something as simple as wear my hair a different way, wear a different color lipstick, uh, drive a different way to work that I never went before. What, what do I see different? And see how anything that I do new makes me feel. It, what I realized is I figured out what I liked mm -hmm. and also things I didn't like, right? Okay. And so over the years, I think I was also in search of trying to, like, figure out who I was, you know, trying to really get to know myself yeah. better, searching for my own freedom. And so in these last six years, I've been on my freedom walk. And so I was like, you know what? I need to do it again. And this time I'm going to journal and I'm going to write a book while I do it. Mm -hmm. And so I did a new thing and I wanted to share that with people so other people would be encouraged to try something new every day. Because yeah. also, you know, I went vegan over almost seven years ago for 30 days and it changed my life and saved my life, right? And so I think we're all worthy of 30 days of trying something new. 30? I'm going to do yeah. this. Yeah. You're Absolutely. so inspiring Aww. and you're such a light. I love having you here. Will you come back again and see us? Girl, anytime. Don't you just love us? If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.